so high. I don't know if you can see the vlog or if you can. It's very, very, very dark right now because it is currently 2 in the morning on Monday. And I'm taking Buttons out because Buttons gotta go potty. Like I said, hopefully you can see here and I'm talking quietly because it is 2 in the morning. And I don't want to, like, wake anybody up or anything. But, um, yeah, I just want to talk for a minute. So you guys are going to look at a very dark screen for a minute. Again, sorry, didn't bring a flashlight out. But it's not that dark, like, in person. I bet if I had a better camera, it wouldn't be so bad. Okay, are you smelling dog poop, or are you wanting to poop? You're smelling poop. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Don't smell the poop. Come on. Anyway, um, I'm really mad, and sorry if the audio is a little loud. I'm talking, like, right into my camera, because I'm trying to be quiet, because it's 2 in the morning. Um, and normal people have jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, jobs where you have to wake up and leave. Anyway, um, so yeah, ever since that Premiere Pro upgrade, I've had some people on Twitter be very nice and helpful and tell me how there's this program I can get that's a free program. Come on. And with that program, I should be able to take my videos and make them, like, easier to post onto YouTube. I have to look into that. And it's just really annoying because it took ten fucking hours with the editing included to have my vlog up and what sucks is like if you're a patron i swear to god i talk about patreon every single fucking vlog but um and stop that michelle stop that <sighs> your vlogs aren't just for your patrons they're for they're for your other fans too and just other people who are interested in your fucking life or people who have no idea who you are and they're just this video got recommended for some reason because that's how youtube works anyway so uh yeah because of that you know, the patrons are supposed to get it a whole day early, but I wasn't able to fucking post this until, like, shit, 10 or 11 last night, so I can't post the vlog until 10 or 11 tonight, because I like giving the patrons 24 hours to watch it, just as a little, you get it first kind of thing, you know, so, whatever, and I'm whatever, I'm doing these vlogs for fun, so, I don't mind, I don't mind getting out, but yeah, uh, because of that, my vlog probably won't go up until late, late tomorrow, and my plans for today, Monday, are that I'm going to end up, like, super cleaning their downstairs because it just bothers me. It bothers me. Oh, look, some light. Some light buttons. There's light. But, yeah, it just really bothers me. And I was raised that, you know, like, if you stay somewhere, you take care of it like it's your own. And I swear to God. Being here has made me severely, severely, severely want to, like, deep clean my apartment and, like, actually clean it and keep it clean, because, oh, buddy, oh, buddy, <laughs> oh, just, nope, not again. I'm also really excited to be cooking again because of the whole pan issue, so I'm just excited all around. Plus, I miss Cody, I miss him, I miss my house, I miss my, my bed, I miss Binks, I miss the chinchillas, because... For those of you guys who don't know, I left on the 31st, so by the time I get back, it's going to be sometime on the 8th. Come on, come on, go poop. I know you have to. Go poop. Okay, come on, we're going to go around. We're not, we're going to turn, no, turn around, turn buttons. We're going to go around, because they don't want me taking her back that way, in case uh, there's a bee. <sighs> I think I explained in the, other in the other vlog, there was like a bee incident by a tree over there, so... Come on, Buttons. There's a shit ton of grass around here. You can go. Yes, Buttons. That's a main street. It's 2 a.m. No one's out here. There's no coyotes or anything. And if they are, I'm going to have to kick them. And then I'm going to go to the hospital. And it's not going to be a fun time. And we're not going to have a fun time. No, we are not. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, long clip is rambly. But I just feel kind of like talking for a minute. And since I have to whisper and... Well, this isn't really a whisper, but talk in a very soft voice. I'm like, huh, oh, it's kind of like some Michi ASMR here. But yeah, it's been like 10 fucking days since I've been home, and I fucking miss it. I miss Binks, I miss my bed, I miss Al, I miss being able to work on digital art. Holy fuck, since I wasn't able to get the traditional stuff I wanted done while I was dog-sitting. But that's no one else's fault on my own. I was paid for the dog-sitting. I shouldn't have expected to get work done on top of that. That was selfish of me, and I know now for the future but I probably won't be dog-sitting her in the following year, only because she has a lot of health issues that I've encountered. Come on, Buttons. No, 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 no. No crossing the street. Um, and I'm just not comfortable with it anymore. 
And it has nothing to do with the house or anything. It's literally just her. Because she's such an old dog. And she's been doing this thing. And I don't know how to describe it besides her back legs forget how to leg. But she doesn't like wine. She doesn't whimper. Come on, Biden's, please shit. It's very cold. And it's very weird talking to a camera at 2 in the morning on a fucking Monday. Please just take a giant dump so we can go inside and you can go to bed because I'm not fucking tired. Oh, you got poop? No, okay. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay. <gasps> Is she pooping? Nope, nope, just smelling more things. Anyway, I'm going to leave this clip here, so I'll see you when there's actually light. So hey guys, it's still Monday. Um, change of plans, because I had an extremely, extremely, extremely rough night. It is like 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, that's right, I have to feed the dog. So, what ended up happening is, you're going to look at this lovely still of a bowl while I chat. So, uh, since being here, my sleep schedule has gone all out of whack. And that's because of the fact that, well, <laughs> um, because of the dog and the lights, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, this, this condo has terrible natural lighting. And because of that, and um, my friend's mom, who is petrified of cockroaches, even though her house doesn't have cockroaches, she has the lights on. 24-7, and that was a very strict thing she told me about, was you are not allowed to turn the lights off at all because that could encourage cockroaches. And I'm like, wait, you have cockroaches? And she's like, no, but they don't like the light. And I'm like, okay, so you just leave your lights on 24-7 every day of the week? And she's like, yeah, because it prevents cockroaches from coming out. And I'm like, I mean, okay, whatever, not my power bill. Like, I'm not going to judge, it's not my power bill. But the fact of the matter is, like, because of that, and because of this lighting, and because they have blackout curtains, that I tried opening up, and this, this condo just has terrible natural lighting. So because of that, I literally don't know what time of day it is. That's why one of the things I really... Oh, there's the dog food. That's, like, hard food. Um... It's one of those things where, like, I told Cody, you know, if we ever get, like, a house someday in a state where we can fucking afford it, um, I want one with a lot of natural light. Because even though I'm a night owl, and I do love working at night, man, I don't know what it is. There is something, something about waking up in the morning, this is where, like, I sound like such a fucking adult, but it's really true, where I wake up in the fucking morning, and when I wake up in the morning, I seem to feel like I get more shit done. Bye-bye's. Food. I get more shit done when I'm awake in the morning than when I'm awake at night. It's the same amount of time. But I, I just I don't I don't know what it is. I like sunlight. I, I don't know what happened to me. What happened to me? Also, I haven't brushed out my hair yet. Can I look like trash? Hence why I'm not showing my face yet. But uh, now that I fed the bubbas, I'm gonna go get myself something to eat, and then I'm going to probably stream a little Hollow Knight, and then I'm gonna just fucking clean this place <laughs> because tomorrow I get to go home. It's been like ten days. I miss my baby, I miss my babies, and I miss Cody, and I miss my bed, and I miss my desk, and I miss doing fucking work! So I just got some of the best news. Did you eat your food? No, you didn't. Okay, I'll have to put that in the fridge for you. But, I just got a text message from Lady I'm house sitting for, and it turns out I get to leave at noon. Sorry, I'm looking for a hairbrush, because my hair feels like a rat's nest right now, and it's in my bag. There it is. But, um, no, seriously, I'm, I'm so happy. She's gonna be coming in early, so she's like, yeah, you can leave at, like, noon. And I'm like, yay! <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy to go fucking home, no joke. I, I am so fucking happy to go home. <sighs> this is what I'm talking about where I'm, like, I'm grody. Grody. 
Alright, so hi guys. It is Tuesday. Tuesday is the day I get to go home. And yeah, I'm very excited about that. It's like 3 in the fucking morning because uh, the dog's being weird again. And I contact the owner and she's like, oh, it's fine, you know, blah, blah, blah. But good news is they, um, they're coming home early so I get to leave early so that makes me very excited. But the downside is Cody is sick. He is extremely sick from when we've been calling because we've missed each other. I've been gone for ten fucking days. Well, I mean nine. I saw him on New Year's Eve. But still. Been gone for ten fucking days and oh, it's really aggravating. Um, well, just a lot's happened in the time I've been here and like the start of you know, the new year and everything even though I started my new year before. Like, I started changing things, but it wasn't enough, and I need to change more. Now, one thing I'm going to try doing is I'm going to try to stop mentioning mentioning Patreon as much as I have been. I noticed when I was editing my past vlogs that, like, I talk about it all the fucking time. And to me, it's really annoying. Like, I don't realize that it's annoying when I'm, like, rambling talking about it. But listening back when I'm editing it through it, I'm like, oh my god, I need to shut the fuck up about Patreon. Okay, they get it. They get it. I need to stop. So... I'm not going to, like, ignore it if something happens. I'm going to talk about it, but I'm not going to have it be, like, it, it feels like it's become, like, 60% of my vlogs. So, um, I had to take a break from cleaning. If you can hear, I don't know if you can, but I'm doing all their dishes that I, I made a mess of and that they left me and everything. But, again, the dogs are acting funny, and it's, like, 4 a.m., 3 a.m., so she wanted me to sit next to her while she slept, so... I was just uh, doodling in my sketchbook, doing some warm-ups. I did this one yesterday. I was doing this one now. And then I decided after I did that doodle that I really, really want to plan out my work week. Now, how it used to be is it used to be that I gave myself the weekends off because that was when Cody had it off because Cody finally had guaranteed weekends so we could, you know, do stuff together. But realistically... We haven't been doing stuff, so I don't see a point in having those be my days off, because it seems like when I have a day off that's, like, next to each other, I'm not as productive within the week than when I'm doing this. And then half the time I end up, like, bullshitting on these days, and then I feel like I'm worthless because I didn't do anything, but, like, that's not the point. So anyway... Since I'm going back tomorrow, this is going to have to start next week, obviously. This isn't going to be starting when I get home. But when I get home, I'm going to have to clean everything. Because since Cody's sick, I know he didn't clean anything, which, you know, he told me. He said he cleaned up Binks' litter box, so let's see if that's true. But uh, all the laundry, I'm going to have to wash because I don't want to get fucking sick. I can't afford to get fucking sick. It's been ten days since I've been able to draw with my tablet or draw for work in general. And it's bugging me but that's my fault we'll talk about it in a bit but yeah so this is gonna be my new schedule starting next week um i'm also during this week this vlog week i'm gonna try to fix my sleep schedule because of because of the lighting and the doggo my sleep schedule is all out of whack my sleep schedule always gets out of whack but like again like i mentioned before this house is terrible natural lighting and because i have to leave the lights on when I, like, I, I swear to God, it's felt like just one really, really long day. Like, it didn't hit me that it's been ten fucking days until, like, the, the text message of, like, oh, yeah, we're coming home early, and then I'm like, oh, my God, I can go home, it's been ten days, and, like, it really, like, I knew it was ten days when I signed up for it, but I'm also like, oh, my God, it's been, like, half a fucking month, I'm, I'm crazy, I'm going fucking nuts. And, um, anyway, I know people are not having my boy, but anyway, so here's gonna be my new schedule. Because, yes, I write notes in my sketchbook because I don't really care when I eventually, like, scan my sketchbooks and make them into, like, a book book to sell. I'm not gonna have my notes in it. It's just whatever. So, anyway, I'm gonna have Monday be my personal chore day. As in, like, this is gonna be a day off, pretty much. And it's a day off to do shit. Because, like I've mentioned before... Uh, with, like, how laundry works in my complex, it's really complicated because my neighbors are fucking assholes and they don't know to, like, leave one open. I mean, I get it, you don't want to keep doing trips, but, like, come the fuck on, you're sharing. A, it's not even that tiny, I would say we have, like, I think we have, like, eight, eight, uh, washers and, like, 
nine or so dryers, and it's like, okay, see, that's an, uh, that's enough for you to, like, f- leave one. If you're having, like, a big laundry day, leave one for a Randy to, to get their stuff done. But, uh, no, we can't, we can't have that, so... Um, I'm constantly, you know, moving back and forth, moving back and forth, moving back and forth. And I'd rather, I would rather, instead of that be like a wasted work day, I'm just going to make Mondays a personal day. That way I can do food shopping. I can take care of the pets. I can take care of other things that are needed around the house or just, you know, normal things. Like, I still have to, oh, fuck, I didn't do that. I need to make an appointment with the DMV to get my license changed over, because now that I have my social security card and my wedding certificate, I can get my driver's license, because my name's been changed for a long-ass time now, but I need to get the stupid card so I can get my insurance kicked in, because my insurance is kicked in. And so, because, like, Cody's work gave me insurance, but I can't do anything with it. It's adult mumbo-jumbo. But anyway, long story short... I got a lot of shit to do, <laughs> and I would rather, if I can, have that be either on a Thursday or a Monday, and here's here's why, so, those are going to be personal days, not saying that I'm not going to work on art, because I probably will, but I'm going to do my best to work on non-work things for this, so this would be, you know, typing up fucking ticks and turns, because I haven't done that yet, because I still haven't had fucking time. So, like, I, you know, typing up ticks and turns and, um, you know, doing personal art, getting collabs done, getting art trades done, getting non-commission work done, birthday gifts, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a personal, personal day for adulting and stuff. But I also put down here, um, jump rope and yoga. So I need to start working out again. And I'm thinking if I can afford it, which I'm pretty sure I can. I'll just have to cut, like, my, my fun budget down, but that's fine. Um, my, my complex was supposed to get a gym when we signed up for the gym. Oh, fine, the gym. When we signed our lease. The apartment manager said that we were going to have a gym and it would be done by December. Well, they didn't even start it in December. They haven't started it at all. And I'm just sitting here waiting and getting fatter. And, like, I weighed myself while I'm here. And I'm very, very, very disappointed in myself. And, yes, last year was a shitty year, but I'm changing that. I'm not I'm not doing that. And then, like, on top of that being here, I haven't been eating the healthiest because I couldn't. Because I couldn't fucking cook on their supplies. But anyway, so it's like... Um, it's been fucking aggravating. Anyway, um, so... I want to see, because we have a 24-hour really close by, I'd rather have an LA Fitness, because I like LA Fitness better, but we don't have one, and I canceled my membership, because I'm like, oh, my apartment complex is going to be getting one soon, so I don't need it, and I was super excited about it, but yeah, I'm like, this is going to take, like, fucking forever before we get that gym. So, that being said, it's too cold to work out outside when I want to work out, because I want to work out in the fucking mornings, or late at late at fucking night, like when Cody's asleep, you know, if I'm having a rough night or something. And so, that being said, 24-hour fitness makes more sense, there's one close by, so I'm gonna see if I can get a membership, and if it's if it's under $40, I can afford it, like a month, because I know some of them are like $40, some of them are $20, so I'm hoping it's like around 20 but I have to budget and see for it, but either way... It's because I want to fucking work out. But either way, even if I don't get that, if I can't afford it, it's not my budget. I'm going to get a jump rope because those are cheap as shit. And I'm going to look up doing yoga stuff because I need to work out. And I need to get my cardio up and I need to get my flexibility up and I need to get my endurance up before I can do really, really hard workouts. It's not an excuse. Um, I have a very weak heart. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. But um, yeah, I uh, I have a... Uh, technically it's damaged, but I don't want to go into it. But because of that, I can't just like, yeah, full P90X, let's just, you know, sweat our shit out because um, my heart might give out. And I'm terrified about that. So, um, yeah, I've, I've had a weak heart since, like, high school. But because of that, I have to, like, ease myself into it, which sucks because, you know, when you're trying to lose weight, you gotta work out, when you gotta work out hard, you gotta sweat, and blah, 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 and I can't really do a lot of that, so that's why I'm making a lot of diet changes, I'm doing a lot of this and that, and so, 
yeah, so uh, that's why I have the the jump rope yoga, because also, also, I know this is a really long fucking clip, but because I don't have neighbors downstairs, I don't fucking care if I'm, like, annoying them with jumping up, with my fat ass jumping up and down, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, that is that. And so then, Tuesday is gonna be a work day, but I'm gonna make sure, like, I put a note here for myself, like, I have to do my wrist stretches, and I work out before I go to work. And go to work. Because when I don't, I don't feel as productive, and I feel more lazy, and then I'm just kind of tired, and like, I don't have my little Fitbit thing, so I'm going to keep that on there. It's at, it's at home. I didn't bring it. It's stupid me. So that's going to help a lot. And then I'm going to get to work. But I also put a note here on almost all of them that are work days. Uh, no social media until around noon. Because of last year being such a shitty year and my depression being the worst it ever been, I got extremely addicted to my phone. I'm still really bad about it, but... Because of everything going on, and I didn't want to be bothered, I would just dick around on my phone. And there have been so many times where I'm bored, and I'm like, oh, I'm bored. And then I'm just, like, re-scrolling through Instagram, or I'm re-scrolling through Twitter, or re-scrolling through YouTube on my phone. And so I'm going to stop that because I want to I wanna read more, so I'm still going to use my phone. But um, if I do do social media, it's going to literally be just for background music. I'm not going to go searching for videos. I'm going to go with, like, either audiobooks, creepypastas, music, stuff that I can just make into a playlist, which I've been working on today. I made a, play a couple playlists that I could just turn on. Don't I don't have to look at anything. You know, my computer will warm up because my computer's, you know, being kind of bleh. And so that way, I'll have all that done. And then on top of that, so that's like my plan for that. Um, as well as the workout and the stretches, it's also going to force me to eat before I work, so that way I'll know that I'm eating. So, yeah, Tuesday is going to be a full work day, which is a normal, you know, whenever I wake up. Hopefully 9. I'm shooting for 9, hopefully earlier, you know, uh, 9 to like 5 or 6 or whatever. You know, I'm working 9 to 5. Anyway, and then Wednesday's my YouTube days, and I made sure to put that so... I want to get back on track of doing my videos a week ahead of time because that seems really, really handy. And also with the whole Premiere Pro thing that like other people are having issues with. So I'm happy that other people are having issues with it. So it's not just fucking me. Makes me so happy whenever like people have issues that I'm also having because then I'm like, yes, it's not my piece of shit laptop. It's, it's, it's everybody else having this issue. So it makes me feel like I'm not crazy. But... This way I will, well, I'll probably end up doing for these days is I'll end up, like, if I haven't already, like, had recordings or whatever, I'll probably, you know, uh, record some audio and then throw some background footage, do it, work on it, and because I also have some, I have some series, 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 that I want to work on this year that I wanted to get done last year that I couldn't get done, but... <laughs> Gabriel's fucking face sticking through it. But, um, with this new thing, I think I'll be able to. So, gonna work on that, so that way I'll have my videos done a week in advance, so I don't have to stress out about it, so when it takes fucking a million years to upload something, I can still do other things and not be, you know, fucking dying. So, I think that's a good plan, but this is also gonna be a normal commission slash artwork day, too. So it's like, YouTube's going to come first. YouTube's going to be the priority for Wednesdays. And then I'm going to get done with the rest of the stuff. And then Thursday, same as Tuesday. Blah, blah, like, literally, it's the same as Tuesday. And then Friday, I'm giving myself a personal day. This is going to be the personal day because it's also when I stream with Brie or Pastel Monster. And while I hate saying it, I love streaming with Brie. But I never get work done when I stream with her. Every time I try, I get distracted because we're just having too much fun. And if I work on something while I'm talking to her, I'm, like, a lot less slow and I'm not, like, all there. And I like our Friday streams, and so I think I'm going to leave Friday. It's a personal day. Um, I think I put Strom here for Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Not every Thursday, but <coughs> I'm going to try. See how this works in my schedule of having Thursdays be me streaming on Twitch. Um, because that way I can, I can still technically count it as the no social media thing. I mean, it's a social media, but I wouldn't be talking because it would be a pure work stream. So again, it would be background sound and like me talking in the chat when I'm taking rest breaks and stuff. So 
There's that plan. And then Saturday and Sunday are going to be half days. Because it's going to depend on if, like, let's say Cody and I are actually doing something. Or sometimes Cody and I will, like, maybe we'll go out for breakfast or go out for a walk or, you know, something that doesn't take the entire day. And then for the rest of it, like, Cody will maybe dick around with his, uh, with his, you know, with his car buddies or, or, like, uh, go to Magic Night or something. And so that way... I have Saturday, Sunday set as half days. If I turn them into full days, that's great, but I want to have them be at least half days unless, obviously, something is going on that week where I can't do anything those weekends, then I'll just I'll flip-flop them for one of my days off. But this is the schedule I wanted her to keep for the future, for 2019, and I want to see how this goes. Uh, when I get home, I'm going to fill up my burnt bullet journal because I didn't bring it here because I uh, fucking couldn't get a lot of shit done anyway, so... Yeah, so plans for when I get home, which is today, technically, since it's is technically Tuesday. Um, go home. See the damage that Cody's done with me gone for ten days. Make a list of what to do. Clean. Before I set up, I have to, I have to be strict about this. Clean my entire desk area and reorganize it before I set it up again, because now that I have the third monitor, I really have to think of where to put things. Plus, I also I want to put Binks and Al, because I miss them. Um, but then I take an inventory of what we're missing, you know, like what I need to get to the store, go to the store, pick up the jump rope, because jump ropes are fucking cheap, and then uh, you probably do laundry, because if Cody's sick, he didn't fucking do laundry. So, And I don't want to get sick, like I said, so I'm going to have to like do our bedding and stuff. See ya. Yeah, that's my plan. Um, that's the good news. I didn't end up actually filming that sketchbook video because I'm not done with this yet. I still have, like, that many left. But, uh, probably work on a couple more pages. And then if the doggo is hard, hard asleep, I can finish cleaning and packing. And that's kind of my plan for tonight. I'm back home! Minx! He didn't miss me. I'm very sad. Or he's pulling the cat thing where it's like, oh, you left me. How dare, human. How dare. But yes, I'm home. I'm home. Uh, the apartment smells. Smells. Which I'm not surprised at. Bink! Oh, oh, is that Mal? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Sorry, I booped your face. So, um... Yeah, uh, I'm back. I just got back. I unloaded all of my shit. So, I have to see what this package is. So, I'm assuming it's for me because Cody didn't open it. So, anyway, um, yeah. So, here's the desk. This is how I left it. And I told myself I'm not setting up my laptop until I clean and reorganize this because I now have the new monitor that I have to make sure the cat doesn't knock over. That I'm going to put... I'm probably going to have the monitor up here. So my laptop's here, then the monitor will be here, then my tablet will be here. Or I might rearrange the desk altogether. I'm not sure yet. I'm still figuring it out. But uh, I didn't get to show this. But Cody made my little storage cubby thing. Now, the cubbies are very small, but they are perfect for shipping supplies and my merchandise and stuff. So I'm going to keep that in there instead of those things. I'm still going to keep those until I can find a good replacement. My hope would be to get, like, another cubby like this, but under here, where I can get, like, cubes for those things, because I, I hate this cubby, and I would rather this space be, like, a bookcase or something. I'm still figuring it out. But anyway, it's the bank! And Mama missed you. Mama used to think that her apartment was dirty. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And it's still dirty. But not compared to the place I was just in. So, yeah. My my messy bed. I'm so happy. It's messy as shit. I don't care. It's mine. It's my messy as shit. Oh, oh, I'm so happy to be home. You guys have... No idea how happy I am to be home. Come on, Bink. Jump up for mama, yeah. So I'm back home and I'm cleaning up. And I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this. This is still a big mess, but it's a lot better than it was. But boom, boom, boom. 
Now I need to still test my pen and see if it'll work with my tablet. All working well, and the downside, downside is since I cleaned out under there, there's a receipt, but I cleaned out all the trash I left under there. Now Binks wants to go over and eat the fucking wires, so spray stain here. So, uh, yeah. It doesn't look very pretty when you come in, obviously, but I mean, we still don't have the couch. Oh, I should explain that. Okay, so I know how in the last vlog, you know how I was really, really excited to get the couch, and everybody was ready, things were going good. Well, Cody got sick, so it ended up not happening. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, good news. Cody gets, gets uh, off work right now, so that works out for everybody. All right, so, yeah, so the dinner should be thought out. My cleaning still cleaning. I'm still cleaning. I'm not going to get any work done, but I'm just going to test. Oh, I need to charge my pen. My pen is for sure dead. So, but yeah, I'm going to try these babies out. I'm ex I'm excited. So, the husband is sick. It's some kitchen magic team. So this is what I call, or well, Cody calls it this, and it's my witch's brew. And it, oh, it seems to knock out colds like no tomorrow. So, and for those of you who don't believe in magic and Wicca and paganism and witchcraft and shit, uh, this is also just a good remedy for if you're sick to just knock it out really quick. It's very easy. It's two lemons, you know, as fresh as you can get, squeezed, and then I actually throw, if you can see it, I throw the whole lemon in there. One to two whole oranges, another fruit if you enjoy, an entire thing, uh, an entire small, not like this, this, this size, stock of peeled cut ginger root. And then what you do is you boil the ginger root and the citrus stuff. You boil that for about, uh, give or take 25, 30 minutes. And then you add your tea. For this, I add... The hot cinnamon sunset tea, because cin cinnamon's good to use. And now we're going to use these spices. And I usually just eyeball it, but uh, it's ground spice, turmeric, allspice, and nutmeg. And uh, on top of, obviously, honey for sweetener. Uh, if you can, try to get raw honey. That seems to work the best, and then I tend to put some enchanted water in. Like whenever I've gotten it empowered from the moon or the sun or special holidays, I like to throw a couple drops in there because that makes me feel better. And it makes it just makes it all come together. If you don't believe in that, obviously don't add that part. But yeah, um, I always go with about, this is going to make about eight cups of tea. But um, I go around half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of each one, but I'm going to use extra turmeric this time since Cody's really, really sick and... He's the only one drinking this, not me. So, yeah, we're gonna just uh, boopy these in and hopefully I don't make a mess on the stove. For the allspice and the nutmeg, I only use about half a teaspoon each. But yeah, we're gonna really cinnamon this bitch up. I'll do a little bit more turmeric. And then you know what, this time around, because Cody said he says he's having issues sleeping, I'm going to throw some of my lavender in. I should still have some left. Oh, do I not have lavender? I just have rose petals? Okay, well I'll have to go with rose petals then. I thought I had- nope, there's my lavender. You know you're, in, you know you're a witch when you just keep random herbs around your house. I think it's still fresh. Now with lavender, you do not need that much. You would never have. That should be enough for the whole six cups, but I'm going to add just a little bit more. Make it stronger so Cody can have better slip. And then obviously, I, I, I strain this, this stuff. I don't just... I want a little bit more cinnamon. But yeah, I strain it before I like actually give it to him so he's not having all the chunks in it. But yeah, you let that all cook. You do the spices last... And then what you do is you stir it all together in a clockwise motion and then you force, not force, that's a bad word. 
you imply your intent on the brew for what you want. So like me, I'm going to be focusing on the fact that I want my husband to feel better, and I want him to get over this sickness quickly, and I want him to have a good night's sleep. So I'm going to be doing that while it cooks, and then you let it cook for another, yeah, see, look at that yellowiness. that's the turmeric working. Um, and then you just let that go. Oh, my laundry's done. Yay. But yeah, you just let that, let that cook for another, I'll say, 10 to 20 minutes. And then you strain it, put it in a container, let it cool naturally, and then put it in your fridge when you haven't had your tea. So that way you can just reheat it until, until it's all good. But you gotta strain all the natural bits or else it'll go bad, so. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. And do my laundry. Alright, so I'm writing my list down for tomorrow because um, I was right. Cody didn't do any food shopping. But it's not a bad thing. He's really, really, really sick. And I feel terrible. Um, he even told me how, like, at work today, in between courses, he had to take a nap. He didn't get in trouble or anything because um, he's doing two shifts. So he's like, technically working 12 hours a day which to some people might sound like they're overworking him but that's a thing he chose to do they're like they get a choice and um he gets overtime for it so he's not getting like abused or anything don't feel bad it's not like his old work but um yeah because of that you know, like he he's exhausted and he's had no time without me here and this is kind of what i'm talking about when like i explain things because i did have a couple people message me like worried because they're like, oh, it sounds like, you know, Cody's up oppressing you. And I'm like, uh, no, I work from home. He works 12 hours a day and only gets weekends off. And he doesn't really enjoy food shopping. And since I work from home, it just makes sense that I do the food shopping. Plus, since I work from home... I actually like doing this shit because it gets me out of the fucking house. So, yeah, it only sucks because now, literally, all of the rest of the pet setting money I got, that now is gone just to groceries. Which, uh, it's life. It just sucks because I'm like, uh, <laughs> you know, if I had dishes, Binks, he's being a brat. I need to also get uh, a way to, like, <laughs> you can see it's not floating. I kind of put it in between those two things, but... But he's being a little brat. And if, you, and if you're wondering why I have to spray him so many times, one time never does it. He likes getting sprayed once. You gotta do it in rapid succession. You know you're not supposed to be back there. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, I should cross this out. So, yeah, I'm just writing the list of what we need, because we pretty much need fucking everything now to think about it. Hold on. Um, but, yeah, I was looking on... I was looking on Amazon, and I was able to find the ramen I get for lunches. I know ramen's, like, really fucking bad for you, but it's cheap as shit. It's a good fast food, and, like, I'm craving it right now, and it sucks because we're all out. And this will last a long-ass time. So I'm literally buying fucking ramen off of Amazon because it's cheap. For 24 of them, it's only $8.99. That's... Let's get a calculator. Because I can't do that math in my head real quick. So we're going to just... Where are you, bitch? Okay. So about $9 just for... Yeah, we'll just do $9. So 9 divided by 24. Yeah, see, that's like 37-ish cents a packet if I did that right or whatever. But it's pretty much the same price as me going in store and doing it, so... I'm just doing that and saving me some time and saving me a stop tomorrow because I really hate unloading. So, yeah, I'm buying, like, a fuck ton of ramen for us to keep in our things. This one's for me because Cody doesn't like... Well, he likes the Oriental flavors. That's for him, too. But I'm also getting, like, some cup of noodles just to have and for him to throw in if he needs to do it. But, yeah, we're good on, like, coffee, blah, blah, blah. We have eggs. I need to get beef. And then I'll see. I'll get chicken if it's on sale. If not, then no. So, yeah, that's pretty much my plans for tonight. I, uh. Oops.
I filled out my bullet journal. This is so hard to do one-handed. Um, for next week. I haven't like filled out the things, but this is my basic spread. It changes week to week, but this, this seems to work the most for me. So I have a step tracker because I have my watch again. This is to track my water to make sure I'm drinking at least eight cups, if not. This is my habit tracker for the week for things I need to do like almost every day. Uh, bed is make bed because I'm really bad at that. And then I have my goals for the week, which is to get stuff done. And that's not, that's not for this week. That's for next week. So I'm actually probably going to get some of these done right now, but all of the rest of this week is going to be focused on catching up, fixing my sleep schedule, and getting workout equipment. I should see if I can get a jump rope, because it'll save me time at Target. Okay, so that's something else I need to look into, but um, yeah, that's, uh, that's my, what day is it? My, my my Tuesday night, because it's technically Wednesday now, it's one, but um, I'm not tired, but uh, woo goody, woo goody. So hi guys, it's Wednesday and it's like 5.30, almost 6, and I'm just now getting my shit done. Oh, the joys of trying to fix your sleep schedule, yay, and I have all of this mess to deal with when I get home. But I have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, hey, have to make dinner for Code when he gets home. So I'm going to be thawing out some chicken. I was going to make like a normal rice dish, but since he's really sick, I know, this is disgusting. It's disgusting. Disgusting. Don't remind me. Still better than the last place I was at. But, uh, yeah, what's going to end up happening is I am going to run to the store now. Let me see. Let's all this crap in here. Yeah, don't bring a exacto knife to the supermarket. But yeah, I literally only woke up a little while ago. I realized the time, and then I'm like, "Oh shit, skadoodle. That's not good." So, yeah, exacto, you stay there. So. Yeah, that's my plan, is I'm just packing up to go to the supermarket right now, grab the essentials, because we need literally everything, we're out of everything. <laughs> so, that's the plan. I'm going to be charging my battery while I'm doing that, because um, uh, this battery's dying, and I'm still not confident enough to like take my camera to the supermarket by myself. When I'm with friends, that's one thing, or Cody, but when I'm by myself, uh, that's a, that's a no-go. So, we'll see. Oh, I should. Sorry. So, hi, guys. Uh, as it turns out, I didn't end up going shopping because it was a madhouse, so I'm going to go tomorrow. So, we Uber Eats because my husband, he's sick. He's a sick boy. And so, we Uber Eats. And I was like, oh, on this one thing, there was an egg option. And you guys know me. I like fucking eggs. So I was like, okay, I'll order, I'll order my burger with an egg, because the option was there. And Cody pulls out of our bag. I have an egg. They didn't put it on the bag. They just gave me an, I don't want just, is it scrambled eggs? I have an egg. Why did they, why? Why would you offer, Carl Jr., why would you offer egg. an egg on egg. your? Egg. Egg. You egg. want an egg, Lily? Egg. Egg. How you feeling? You are, you are feeling and looking a little better than you were yesterday. I'm dying. I know you're dying. I'm saying you look better. So am I supposed to put the egg on put my egg bird? on your shit. Some assembly's required, woman. It's fast food. Why yeah. offer the egg? How hard is this maneuver? Exactly. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're going to eat our food. You paid a dollar for this. And watch more Mr. Gigi's to catch a predator. <laughs> Praise. So hi guys, it is Thursday, and I am cutting up some chicken for our soup. I just boiled it, and yeah, it's hooked all the way through. And Binks is being a little squeaker for some reason. Why are you being a squeaker, Binks? But yeah, um... I decided I'm going to make a, uh, another kind of tomato-y, pasta-y soup 
that <clears throat> my mom taught me. Okay, I guess this is going to be a shorter chicken then. <laughs> and um, just thought to get some of the chicken done in advance so I won't have to have the, the soup be fucking molten when I make it. Because uh, the way my mom makes it, it takes hours to make because she ends up cooking the chicken with everything else. And then I saw my buddy Kaylee do something similar with chicken where she was like, oh yeah, you just boil it and then add the seasonings. And I'm like, oh my god, that's so fucking smart. I never thought to do that. I always thought you just throw the chicken in. So I thought, why are you being a squeaker? You have food and you have love. Binks, what's wrong? Oh, your litter box is probably full. I need to clean your litter box, because go to David! But he's also sick, so for once I'm gonna give him... I'm gonna give him the, I know, Binks! I know. I know, you're a squeak. But yeah, so I'm just cutting this up. And then I'm gonna cut up some tomatoes. Not tomatoes. Fucking bitch. Potatoes. And throw those in. Actually, no, I shouldn't leave boiling while I'm gone. Uh, it doesn't take that long. It only takes like 20 minutes to boil potatoes, so. That won't be too long. Oh, do you want some chicken? You don't get people food. This is exactly why I didn't want Cody's grandfather to sneak you fucking chicken. Yeah, we found out about that. That Cody's grandfather, when we were living with them, snuck Binks people food. Because he does that with his dogs. And we're like, dude, this is why your dog is fat. Well, not really, dude, that's disrespectful for his grandpa. But we're like, hey, this is why your dog is fat, because his dog is very, 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 very fat. All right, so the chicken's all shredded. I'm going to go put this in a container for right now and put it in the fridge so it doesn't go bad. And then I'm going to clean your poop, and then I'm going to go to the store. All right, guys, you're not going to see anything. You're just going to hear coat. Well, actually, you can do it now, because you're not wearing your work shirt. So, Cody was talking for I, I did this before, but then I realized I'm dumb and I can't show my actual work online. And, um, and you end up doxing us because they And I'd be doxing us. So, <laughs> anyway, what I was telling you guys before, I was rudely interrupted by my own stupidity, um, was I spent 20 minutes, actually almost an hour, if you commutatively do it over the whole day, uh, watching one student try and wash a windshield. Now... This guy's going to school. This guy is going to school to be an automotive repair technician. He is... He's not stupid. How much is tuition? Just a lot. Like, like th it's like 40 grand, okay? Um, <clears throat> so it's not like he's not dumb. He's just... You, n you know he's never done it before. And, like, he is... A he's privileged. Privileged is the word. So... I, I watched him struggle. Like, first, like, if you've ever cleaned a window, you know you don't, like, go in dry. You don't just try and dry Wait, wipe. he was dry wiping it? Yes. And then he was smearing it around, and then he tried to spray it. It just, it was just, it was just bad. And Tell he was missing a whole bunch. And so I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. Everyone's laughing. We're kind of making jokes about it. And, and we're kind of just, you know, all right, this, this is dumb, but whatever. It's funny. Um, and... <clears throat> So I'm sitting in class, and I, I ask him, I go, you know, have you, like, ever cleaned your own car? Like, I actually asked him, do you have a car? He goes, yeah, I have, I have a car. Um, and I'm like, okay, have you ever, like, washed your car? And, like, d straight up, deadpan, no joking, was like, no, my parents have our servants do it. <laughs> I still can't. I still can't. I can't. You're going to school! <laughs> To be an automotive technician. And when I say like he was he was having a hard time, I mean like like imagine this is the windshield, right? And and this is the this is the rag. He wasn't like you know like you you, you clean something off, right? You like why? No, he was just like. Where did you put spinch? I put spinch over there. Put this on top of spinch. Spinch. Oh, hi boobs. Hi hi titties. So. So, Michelle, yeah. rule, rule of the day, if you rich, <laughs> teach your bitches how to do things like a human oh. cat. Uh, I think his parents are diplomats, because he, I don't know, he, he definitely has a different cultural upbringing than me, and um, I know how to wash a fucking window, so. I mean, you're teaching a school, like, that, that, that doesn't compute with me. If I don't know how to, 
If I can't wash a window, I should not be allowed to teach children. Okay? That's just how it goes. You shouldn't want to work in the car industry if you can't wash your own damn window. My servants do it. Mommy, well, your mommy. servants ain't gonna fucking give you a damn job. Is this out all night? Maybe. So we're just sitting here enjoying some smoothie after dinner anime. And Cody shows me. So, <laughs> I follow a lot of car stuff. My friend put me onto what I think is the funniest fucking Instagram ever. In car culture, there's a lot of different things, like art culture and things like that. But there's this thing called stance. It's a, it's cars that are really, really lowered, and they have, like, really ridiculously angled wheels for no fucking reason. <clears throat> Some of them I can get behind. Most of them are stupid. And they always have some bullshit inspirational, like, oh, my, look at my new setup, things like this. <laughs> one man, one man had one mission, and he saw his, his, his goal in life was to shit post forever. So he made an Instagram called static underscore cart. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a fucking shopping cart. And that's all his Instagram is. Is fucking posts of his shopping cart. I love it. <laughs> so go give Static Cart a follow real quick. On Instagram. On Instagram. <laughs> he has 11... He has 11 posts and 1,100 followers. It's beautiful. I... That is a ridiculous ratio. Like, ridiculous. It's fucking amazing. So yes, Static Cart. It's fucking awesome. On another note, what anime are we watching? We're also Still watching... Up? We're also watching Sirius the Jaeger. It's a, a Netflix anime. Netflix anime. Pretty good. We're, we're checking it out. Yeah. We're on so episode. yeah. We're on episode four. <gasps> He's chosen me. The That's, bean toes. The sun. You He's can't see him. It's dark. Yeah, he's a, he's a black Anyway. Guy. So I'm chatting with my friend Bree, and I noticed that, I don't know if you can see it, but my my second birthday candle ring is, I'm able to get it now, so I gotta find a way to pull it out of the candle, because I don't want to stop burning it yet, because I'm not done. But, uh, yeah, scented treasures. Oh, crap. This was left out, isn't it? Oh, I your room temp. Yep. Sorry, we were cleaning the kitchen. But look, it's... Kind of clean now. Gotta wait for this to get done, and then we can do more. But um, yeah, it's uh, they are a scented treasures candle. Oh, it's wax. I don't want to do that. Oh, can I use you? I don't like use you for much else. That'll work. I'll try to clean it off. It's it's rubbery, or I'm gonna end up destroying these. But uh, we never use these anyway. So, but yeah, not sponsored obviously, because this channel doesn't even have like a thousand subs or anything. But, um, yeah, I saw them for ads on Instagram. Come on. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. And wow, it didn't even really stick to that, so... Hold on real quick, I'm gonna unpeel this. Okay, so I got the ring out. It's black gold with some kind of stone. I don't know if it's a real stone or if it is a fake stone. I'm gonna put in a code on my account to see because they'll tell you like how expensive your ring is and it's one of those like you can go anywhere between like a five dollar ring and a like ten thousand dollar ring i don't think this is ten thousand dollars but um yeah that's not why i got it i got it because they're black gold and the candles are fun and i really really like the containers they're in they're really really neat and like aesthetically pleasing this one's hard to tell but the other one was my skull one and i used that one all up and since I have my own candle making kit, hew, 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 I can just refill them when I can. But, uh, yeah, I really, really like them. This one's really tight, so it'll probably go on. Yeah, it could fit on my middle finger, so. My fat sausage hands. But, yeah, that's really, really cute. I really like it. And then I have my other one, my green candle that I still haven't burned yet. But, yeah, now I got another ring. So hi guys, it's Friday, and it's the end of the vlog, because I haven't really done anything today, and I have to edit this tonight. 
or really, really early tomorrow to get it up on Sunday. But, uh, yeah, didn't do much today. I'm still trying to fix my sleep schedule, hence why I didn't do a lot today. So, honestly, my plan for tonight is either crash as soon as I can for a nap or so, or stay awake as long as I can until I crash. Either way, it'll work. But, um... I watched my buddy Anna, she made a video recently on art supplies, and she had a really good idea of marking off her her Copics where the um, brush nib is, and so I was like, oh fuck, that's so smart, and since I don't really do a lot of Copic art anymore besides like, towel and stuff in my sketchbooks, I did it to all my greys, I might do it later, uh, like my washi tape, it's, it's holographic purple filigree, because I like agree. I like purple, and I like sparkly, so just what I was doing. I didn't do it to all the markers because I'm I'm debating on whether or not if I can close this on going through and testing them, because I know at least half of these markers are dead because I haven't used them in a long time, or they were useless and I didn't use them. Yeah. So I'm already rambling. I don't know where my brain is, so um, my package came. My package of ramen came. <laughs> Uh, I can't show it because then there's also a birthday gift for a friend that I'm going to be mailing off on Monday. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave the vlog here. I'll let you guys see my grody face because I didn't brush my hair and I look like trash. But, uh, yeah, guys, this has been my week, and I uh, will see you in the next one. Bye!